Can I ask you how the situation was before you did sleep school with Ron, who was a bit more than five years old at that time? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, for for five years, we we basically he, he was he was co sleeping with us. Um, we would have to go in every night um, to put him to sleep, which was like a two three hour process. And then we would walk on eggshells all night because we didn't know, we didn't want him to wake up, but he always did anyway. He used to wake up at like 1.30, 2 in the morning. And then we would spend like another two, three hours trying to get him back to sleep, rocking him, singing to him, walking, watching TV, whatever it was, anything to get him back to sleep. Um, and so our daily routine was completely ruined because one, we were barely getting two to three hours of sleep. He was maybe getting six hours of sleep at night. So he would wake up cranky. His day was completely shot because there was no, we couldn't design a day around his wake up because sometimes it'd be like seven in the morning, sometimes it'd be 10 in the morning, 11 in the morning. He would take afternoon naps because he was so tired. So we couldn't plan anything for him. Um, it, it was a nightmare. And I just remember um, Googling and saying, there's got to be a solution. We can't be the only parents out there that are going through this, you know? And it didn't help that he was so advanced in age, right? Most people resolve their sleep issues when they're younger. In our case, we traveled a lot and we did. We tried things like cry it out when he was much younger with success, but that was before he was mobile and had opinions of his own and, and things like that. Um, and because we traveled so much, we would have to come back and sort of restart the whole thing again. And, and with each consecutive travel, it just got worse and worse and worse. And I just remember the, the thing that finally got me to sleep school was he was just not waking up happy in the morning and we were miserable in the morning. Um, like I said, the lack of sleep and then just having to do everything on top of that. It just was not tolerable anymore and I just remember googling and we found this school and I'm like why haven't I seen this school before um and I reached out to you guys and I read like a thousand reviews online and my husband's like they're probably fake <laughs> you know and I was like no 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 and they have a money back guarantee and uh <laughs> we're like all right let's reach out to them and see and you know try it it doesn't matter it can't hurt right um, and they say no cry it out because at this point I really didn't want to do cry it out because my son was so much older and, you know, when they're babies and they don't know, I suppose it's not a big deal. Right. But once they're able to understand, he can't now understand why we're not together. What's changed? Did I do something wrong? And I didn't want to put him through that, you know? Um, so I, and, and I think as I, my son is also minimally verbal. So that makes it even more difficult, right? Because you're trying to communicate something and you don't know how to communicate it to him without him feeling like he's done something wrong, um, you know, by changing his entire routine. So anyway, that's where we were. And that's kind of how we came to your school because we just needed some solution that um, we just had to try. We didn't know if it was going to work, but we just had to try it, you know? And so you mentioned the money back was something that um, helped you make your decision, which I understand. Was there anything else or? Um, yeah, I mean, the reviews were phenomenal. You know, I read a lot of reviews where people were like, if somebody told me that I would pay money to help my child sleep, <laughs> I would have said that's the most ridiculous thing in the world. <laughs> and I was, I was at that point where I was like, I didn't care. I'm like, I will pay whatever. I just... Because at that point, money was not the issue, right? It was just, like I said, I didn't want the money back. I wanted this to work more than anything. And um, the reviews are phenomenal. And um, I had reached out to other sleep consultants in the past. And um, they didn't, while they were good, and they may have worked for other children, Rowan was very different. He's very difficult, you know? Um, and so the biggest the game changer for us was the hug. And I'm sure we'll talk about that later, but we didn't know how to keep our son in the bed because he eloped a lot. People would be like, oh, just turn off the lights and shut the door. It doesn't work, you know, cause he's gonna get up and follow right behind us. And uh, so we couldn't figure out how do we get him to stay in bed, you know? Um, and that was the thing that helped. And also I love the stages that 
the sleep school had, right? Um, it was very clear because there was a lot of stuff in the past where people would be like, okay, well, you do the chair method, right? Where you sit next to them. Yes, it makes sense, but it only makes sense if they're able to stay in the bed. <laughs> and if they can't do that, it's not gonna work. And in this case, I love the slow, gradual advancement of moving out of the room. That, when I remember when, um, I think it was like stage four or five where we sit outside the door, and I'm like, this is never gonna work. He's never gonna go for it. <laughs> and I just remember him sitting on the bed and just kind of looking out the window going, or the door going, hmm, what's happening here? But he didn't cry, he didn't do anything. And I think that was the greatest satisfaction for me was to be able to gradually, um, you know, build him into sleep and, and, and build him into a routine. And I think that was the thing that um, was the best for me. Cause I, in his case, it's not, it's, it's not cry it out, but of course children are gonna cry, you know, because there's a change to their routine. But it was also really nice because when he did cry, it wasn't like I just had to shut him out. Um, I was able to go in and I was able to comfort him and I was able to do it um, at my own pace. And it was interesting because when I first started the method, um, Miss Megan had said to me, it's gonna take three weeks. I guess typically it takes two weeks to graduate, but in my case, she said, it's gonna take two weeks because he knows a little bit more and he doesn't talk as much and so on and so forth. And um, I remember two weeks in talking to uh, Natalie, the cohort, and saying, I don't think this is going to work because he was still like up in the middle. It was taking him like two, three hours to sleep in the middle of the night. And she was like, trust the process, trust the process. I'm like, I don't think this is going to work. And then like literally two weeks and one day it happened. He fell asleep within 15 minutes and he did not wake up that night. And my husband and I were like, it's a fluke. And then it happened the next night. And then it happened the next night. And then it happened the next night. And then we graduated. I was so happy. I can't even tell you how happy I was. Yeah, I, I, I know, I know. That's, that's yeah. really great to hear. Yeah. Uh, okay, actually you've talked a bit about uh, the cry top, but I want to ask you because a lot of parents are concerned about us saying we're not cry out, but still um, not responding to children when they're crying. Yeah. Um, what, what would you say to them to reassure them that we are not a cry out method? Um, it is truly not a cry out because at no point did I feel, I've done cry it out. It like rips your heart out because you feel so bad that they're crying. This is not like that at all. Um, you can go in, you can comfort them. You know those cries, you know when they're tantrum cries, and you know when they're real cries. And so when they're real cries, the sleep guides who are walking you through this, they guide you, they tell you, he looks like he's in distress. Why don't you go in and comfort him? Um, and and that's, that's, of course, the other great thing is you have the camera where you have these wonderful sleep guides who are with you. I mean, there were so many nights that they were with me the entire night talking to me, walking me through the process, watching him while I was watching him. You know what I mean? Just to kind of help me understand, yes, that's just a tantrum cry or that's a, you know, that's a distress cry. So, and, and they were able to tell me what I needed to do. I didn't have to figure these things out for myself. There was somebody with me every single night for almost three weeks, walking me through the process. That was amazing. This, obviously we, for me, I feel like I'm the only parent in the world going through this. Like there can't be a more difficult scenario than mine. And honestly, I feel like there's no dif more difficult scenario than mine. It was really hard. Um, we had the worst of everything, any loper, you know, a minimal mm, verbal child and, you know, those kinds of things. And I thought, and five years old plus, right? I was like, there's no way this is even going to work. There's cry it out and there's crying. It's a very different mm -hmm. thing, you know? But as you mentioned, you said that we help you understand and we really ask you to step in uh, when your child needs it. And yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And, and as we, and the hug, I mean, that was the game changer. Let's, for let's talk about the hug. Yeah. So the hug is our <laughs> special sleep sack. So yeah. what did you think about this? You know, I just remember, <clears throat> I didn't know what it was. I kept reading about the hug 
And um, when we got it, I just remember my husband and going, oh my God, this is like the greatest thing. Why didn't anybody think of this before? Um, <laughs> you know, I just thought it was like a compression blanket because there's so many of those on the market. And we were like, we can just buy one of those. I'm like, I don't know, let's just, you know, and I remember watching the video and thinking, oh, I get it. This is so amazing because this is exactly what we need. It offers compression. And the best thing about it, because I wasn't sure, is it going to be comfortable? It, he loved it. So it's great. It offers him a lot of movement and it offers us a lot of uh, peace of mind because we know he's not in the room running around and doing crazy things. Um, we know he's in his bed and anything he wants to do, he can do in his bed. And it offers him comfort, um, that sort of hug as they call it, right? Um, at night so that he can sleep through it. And he, he loves it. That was the game changer for it. I mean, everybody should have hug. <laughs> everybody <laughs> should have you. hug. Because a lot of parents are a bit concerned when they see the hug and usually, especially parents of toddlers, okay. they, toddlers and children, they understand from day one and night one, the, the use of the hug and the benefits. It, it must be, I don't know, but I'm guessing it's very comfortable because my son absolutely loves it and gets a great night of sleep in it. Mm -hmm. and one last thing I wanted to know is, um, so obviously Rowan's sleep is much better, but um, we also have a lot of other benefits of sleep school um, that can be seen during the day, like your child's behavior, maybe your communication with your child. Could you, could you tell me on top of your, on the top of your head, what, what comes oh, yeah. to your mind? Absolutely. I mean, the biggest thing is just going into the bedroom in the morning, um, singing the good morning song to him when it's yellow. Uh, just the fixed routine, I think, of going to bed and waking up at a certain time every day and just watch. And really, before he used to wake up crying because he was tired and he was cranky and he was unhappy. Now we went, walk in, we see him, he's smiling, he's happy, he's, it's just a joy. And also during the day, because he's not tired, he's energetic, he's willing to learn, he's, you know, um, there's so many benefits. I, I, I can't even tell you. We were able to do so many of the things that we'd wanted to do in the past. Um, I talked to you about earlier, about not being able to set up any type of routines because his sleep was so erratic and, um, because he would fall asleep or he was too tired or he was too cranky. We were never able to get into that daily routine. And especially now with COVID, you know, we're homeschooling and doing everything at home. Um, we needed to make sure that we had here, this is breakfast time, this is lunch time, this is dinner time, this is snack time, this is learning time. And now we have all those things. We have, we're able to develop, we were able to develop a routine for him. And I, I don't even know what to say. It's been so great. You know, um, I had always dreamt of having that, that routine in life for him, because, you know, as, as a child and adult, it's so great to have that level of discipline. Right. And now that he has it, it's so, I mean, there's no um, doubts in his mind, right? It's like, oh, it's breakfast time. It's lunch time. It's play time. It's studying time. And because he wakes up in such a great mood, um, Oh, and just the morning routine, brushing his teeth, you know, okay, it's time to do this. It's time to do this. It's he does it all. It's so amazing. Um, <laughs> no, it's, gave it all. <laughs> my, it, honestly, like my life has changed so much. Our life. I mean, there were so many shows that we had stacked up. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know what you mean. Like we started watching a lot of Netflix. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, it's great. It's great. Um, it's the best thing we ever did. No question about it. It is the best thing, um, the best money spent because it's not, it wasn't, it's not like just a temporary thing. It's like a lifelong thing. And um, mm -hmm. it's, it's been amazing. It was the best experience. And for such a short period of time, I, I just can't believe what you can do in that, in, in that short period of a time. And like I said, three weeks, if anybody had ever said to me that this would happen in three weeks, we were always ready to spend like two months, let's buckle down and cry it out or do something for two months and just, but no, three weeks happened and it was done. And I, 
I don't even know what to say. It, I'm, I'm like so thankful that I that I came across the school. Thank you I'm, so much. I'm really happy to see the before and the after because usually I get a lot of parts and then it's hard for me to really grasp how it's changed their life um, after yeah. safe school. So it's really cool. No, it's, it's really great. <laughs> so thank right. you for it. I really appreciate it.